Hello friends and welcome to this channel. Linux Advice is back with another video today and uh, today's lecture is about how to run AWS Lambda functions with container runtime. So basic question is why why container runtime? Why use the Docker container runtime? So uh, to look upon this, a problem statement uh, may look like this, like uh, you know, you want to automate some AWS task, you work as an AWS admin and you want to automate the daily task. Uh, maybe you want to get some reports in CSV format um, or, or you can do anything that you want to. But you know, uh, unfortunately there can be a scenario that people are not that much comfortable with Python, though uh, I would say uh, it's always a very, very good thing to learn Python, uh, to be a Python expert. Um, so another way, like if you are a bash expert, you know, you are from a Linux background and you like bash more like I do, then, uh, we can, uh, we can run the Lambda functions from container runtime as well. So it is very, very convenient. So in the demonstration today, uh, we are going to see how to, how to run few, uh, few commands on AWS and uh, generate a CSV file and upload it to S3 bucket. So it will happen through a Lambda function, uh, which will be running on a container runtime and uh, I will be uploading the file to the S3. But definitely there is one more option where, uh, where AWS Lambda also support the custom runtime. Uh, which is a kind of tedious. We have to bootstrap the operating system on, uh, on our own and it may be tedious. So uh, let's let's see how, how to do it. Yeah. To see how it works really, let me demonstrate you uh, the example. So our example here will look like this. I will upload the code to GitHub repository. You can just clone it from there. Now, what we want to do, step number one is like what we really want to do. So we want to run a bash script and here just, here just I'm creating a CSV. You can apply your own logic to, uh, to create any type of CSV that you want to. So it will look like this, you know, like uh, this, uh, first of all, we are like echoing something and uh, and, and passing the data, uh, storing the data into data.csv. Then we have to copy this AWS, uh, using the AWS CLI, we will copy this file to the S3 bucket and it is just checking the exit status. If not zero, then exit, so that the Lambda not keep on running forever, right? Then this is the CSV, uh, how it will be created. Let us see what are the other files. As we see that uh, the Lambda will execute on the container runtime, so definitely there has to be a container which has to run to execute this functionality. Now, to, the, to do this, we have to create our own image. So let's look on how it, uh, how the uh, image file or the Docker file looks like in our case. So here, here, uh, step number one, we have to choose an image which is already already provided by AWS. So we, we cannot use any own, you know, our own or, you know, custom available images. It is provided by AWS to run specifically with, with Lambda. So it has a image that supports uh, Node.js and a couple of other languages, uh, but we have to select this one only. Now we have to uh, install some packages like zip, unzip and the AWS CLI. So this will be included in the run commands and uh, definitely I remember one thing, one of my colleagues suggested that instead of uh, using multiple run commands, we it, it's a really good thing that we, you know, you, uh, that we put ampersand ampersand between multiple run commands, it will make the image smaller. Then now we have to copy the uh, Python script. So yeah, I understand that in, in the beginning, I just said that, okay, if you're not a Python expert, uh, then you can go with this, but this Python script is just calling the shell script. It's a very, very basic Python script. So there is nothing to bother about. Then this Python script will run and this path, this path is something which is, which is provided by AWS container runtime. This path or this location is the only writable 
space so here the writable things write things can happen otherwise mostly this uh, file system is read only in the lambda environment so we have to copy this file here and then copy this file also here and then we have to just make it executable and we will uh, call the lambda function like this so it will do the functionality it will execute the function what it is you know all about now uh, let's see the python script the last thing so it's not the real hardcore python script it is just using the sub process module and here we define the lambda function and uh, just printing uh, just to verify whether it is uh, you know working or not if in case of error you can troubleshoot with this and using the sub process module we are just calling the shell script here one most important thing to uh, note here is that you have to return something you have to return the status code uh, 200 here otherwise the lambda will execute but it will throw error it will execute uh, it will exit with the error because it has to have some return value so this is the problem that i faced here uh, always remember this thing otherwise uh, the things are really easy now uh, so now the next step is that we have to create the image out of it push it to ecr and uh, then in the lambda function we have to give the image uri so uh, let's proceed with this uh, so let me go here let me go to ecr uh, here okay so let it be private lambda la lambda on container that's it create repository we are now going to push this create the image and push to this uh, ecr actually so again uh, we just need to copy paste the command from here so step number one is this number two is this one so we have login to the ecr then we will just build the image it will take few seconds now it is uh, installing the packages that we mentioned here in the run commands so it will take few seconds and uh, let us wait for a while okay the image is created um, go to the third step we are going to tag this image with the latest tag here like this and finally the last step is we are going to push this image to the ecr repository that we just created so no need to memorize the commands always you can just copy paste it from there If you find it boring then maybe you can skip a few seconds to the video
all right uh, the image is pushed let's let's just verify let us verify whether we have something here or not yes we have it here with the latest tag our image is there which is around 432 mbs and now the main step is creation of uh, aws lambda so if we let me take a duplicate tab here and let me go to lambda there are no functions so no problem we will create a new one create it from uh, select this author from scratch no you have to select the container image so this is the option that we normally select when we use the already available lambda run times but we have to select this container image then we can just name uh, name it as copy csv to s3 okay, so because this is what we are doing it browse image uh, just select this the 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 latest tag here and just select image so here it is let, let me verify once again okay then just uh, select the everything default create function now because now because our lambda function will upload file to s3 this lambda function should have permission to upload the file to s3 so whatever default role is created we will just do one thing we will add this uh, additional permission for uh, uh, to allow the lambda to to uh, upload the file to s3 now go to configuration and maybe go to permissions here the role name is this one we will just copy this and we will just go to iam to roles here this one we will just add we will just add this uh, additional permissions to this and select the s3 full access definitely upload is only required but for the demonstration purpose i am just attaching this one okay now what we need to do we'll go here uh, we'll go here and then go to functions select this one and just we will now now test it okay so we'll now test it then we'll just say test and then we see what will happen okay so the time it says that it is timed out after 3 seconds so that is fine actually because 3 second is really less so what we can do we can go to configuration and we can go to uh where we can this just uh, do it so here we can edit this and we can just say that uh, okay i'll just make it as 3 uh, minute 3 second and then just save it this uh, error might come this is a common problem actually then just wait for this uh, lambda function to get updated let us try again after that okay now we go here again and let's try to test it again test 
test it out let's see now what happens okay the execution says that it succeeded and yes we received the response code as uh, status code as 200 uh, let's go and verify the s3 bucket whether we got the cs3 or not that we were trying to create and push it to the s3 bucket so we will go to the s3 bucket and just see whether we got the file there or not yes we got it let's uh, download it and let's verify whether the real stuff is there or not so yes you see here uh, this is this is the this is the uh, file that is uh, you know that we created so this is how it works hope this tutorial was uh, helpful for you and uh, do share share it subscribe it uh, please show some appreciation <laughs> thank you and have a good day bye